Sometimes we may not find all of the information we need on a standard report. When this occurs, we can customize reports in QuickBooks. Note that it's easier to customize detailed reports and transaction list reports than summary reports, so we recommend starting with a detailed report before customizing. In this example, we're going to start with a transaction list by date report. Let's suppose that we want to find all of the outstanding invoices during this year in QuickBooks. We're going to customize the report to display this information. First, we can choose the report period. We can choose from one of the preset dates, or we can use the custom dates available. On the report itself, we can scroll over and we can look at the header information. We can edit the name of the report as well as whether we want to display a logo. On the right side of the information on the report, we can click the gear icon to do some simple customization. From here, we can remove or add columns. Let's suppose we don't need to see posting. We can remove that. Then we can click Show More, and we can remove other information as needed. After we do that, we can click the gear icon again, and QuickBooks will run the report for us. Now we have a more simple report. However, it's still a lot of information. To further customize the report, I'll click the Customize button. There are four categories that we can use to customize the report. First is General. This reviews the report period again and has some number formatting. If we want to change the columns, we click under Rows and Columns, the Change Columns link. From here, we can select the items to display on the report. All of the items selected above this line will display from left to right on the report. If we want to reorder columns, we can simply take the cursor and place it over the number pad symbol and drag it up or down and reorder the report. If we want to add columns, we can go down to the bottom half of the window and select anything for display on the report. After customizing the rows and columns, we can click it again and it will minimize that section. Now let's suppose that we want to filter for our outstanding invoices. We'll click the filter link and first we would select the filter we want to apply. In this example, we'll choose transaction type and then we'll choose from all and we'll change that to invoice. Next, we want to make sure that we filter for unpaid invoices. So we're going to scroll down and find a filter that applies to that selection. In this example, we'll choose AR paid. You'll notice that that jumps it back up to the top under filter, and then we'll click the drop down menu and we'll say unpaid. And that's all that's required under filters. We filtered for unpaid invoices in this year. Finally, we can remove or change the header and footer. We can scroll down and we can see that we can show the logo. We can remove the report title and even the report period if we wish. And we can edit information on the footer. Finally, we can change the alignment if we need to. After completing all of the customization, click Run Report. And QuickBooks provides us with a very simple report of the outstanding invoices for this year. Although there's very little information, QuickBooks has done its job to filter out all information except for what we wanted. That's how you would customize a report to find detailed information in QuickBooks.